uh, we've been introduced to a uh, call processing language. Uh, we've seen this in the context of um, different uh, representative uh, encoding formats and how CPL can be used to um, implement call graphs. We are going to have a quick introduction on certain use cases and we are going to look at a specific example. Uh, this particular module is from Metacase. It's a Finnish company that specializes in uh, different modeling softwares which are domain specific. So they have come up with uh, an interesting uh, CPL tutorial that I've referred to um, for describing how exactly call flows are managed in uh, CPL. So CPL that uh, is typically available uh, is a GUI based uh, language for modeling different uh, call, call flows. These call flows or call graphs are for uh, IP telephony. Examples could be uh, uh, establishing a call and uh, anomalous uh, situations like call forwarding requirement uh, when the receiver is busy or does not answer, uh, rejecting from anonymous users uh, once the caller uh, finds the callee not available, then can be forwarded to a certain voicemail. Um, then uh, depending upon the nature of the call made, uh, the capabilities which are requested, uh, the incoming calls could be proxied or could be redirected to all the registered devices and whichever best suits the requirement, the call is forwarded there. Um, we are going to look at a very uh, simple example of a redirect service. A redirection means that if uh, a certain call is made from a caller, um, it, it has to be uh, redirected uh, to a certain callee. Uh, a specific caller to a specific uh, callee. Uh, if uh, uh, the callee is not available, then three options are there. Uh, if those options are uh, not executed, then uh, eventually voicemail is activated. Uh, so we are going to look at this example. At the start, a certain call is made. The address of the origin and the host are determined. If the caller is uh, example.com, the call is forwarded to uh, Jones, particularly like a user Jones at a certain domain example.com. And then three of the actions are performed. The location of the user determines if a certain user is present. If a user uh, is available, call would be through, but we are looking at redirection. So the caller uh, is going to be made to wait for say 10 seconds. And uh, depending upon how the callee's unavailability is determined, whether it's busy or uh, uh, there's no answer or the call could not get through, then uh, the voicemail is activated. For all the other users which are not coming uh, from uh, example.com, in that case, the caller is directed automatically to the voicemail. Uh, with this particular scenario, it's very basic. Uh, we need to understand some entities. So uh, uh, the uh, root node represents the start. The uh, rectangular uh, entity represents a switch which allows us certain choices as in address um, or certain choice of language, uh, priority, a certain string if it's there or certain time. Now these conditions uh, could be uh, met. For example, if uh, here in this case, uh, uh, if the input is equal to uh, the address information, is uh, equal to the one uh, which is stored in the database, then it is given normal priority. This is just an example. Uh, then uh, we have the location uh, that uh, uh, allows the location address to be accessed and then subsequently uh, reaching out to the certain uh, user can be possible. And then uh, some action has to be taken place for example, these are known as signaling operations. In this case, 
should the call be proxied should the call be redirected or should the call be rejected um in the example that we just saw that was a redirection example and then these arrows mark uh, uh, the continuous bold line represents a condition that is being met and uh, once the condition is not met then this dotted line works so just have a look at it again uh, this example was taken from uh, metacase.com